Good morning. Today I'm going to be using and demonstrating how to use Inventor to make a 3D obstacle for our skateboard, marble skateboard uh, project. Students are tasked with having to create something on Inventor, then using our 3D printers to print out an obstacle that can be implemented into their skate park. So this first one is how to, use, how to make a slide using the coil feature in Inventor. So as always, we are gonna start with a new part feature. We click new part. Then Inventor will open up our working space. Inventor is a robust program, so sometimes it takes a little bit of time to open up. So we'll go up to start 2D sketch. We'll start our 2D sketch, which will open up and give us different options for planes to work on. I'm going to click on the plane I prefer. I always like to click the XY plane. And now I'm set here within a work window in which I can start to create. To make a coil, we're gonna start by making a circle and you can create the dimensions of your circle, but I like to make it about two inches in diameter. So I'll simply type in 2.0 and hit return. And then we have, I click our view cube over here to kind of put the shape back into view so we can see it in its entirety. And you can see here we have a dimension line that's going to tell us how the diameter across our circle is. So after I create that one, I'm gonna create another one inside that circle. Um, about 1.8, I think I'll make it. And now we have two circles and I'm done with that feature. However, these dimension lines don't disappear. I like to get rid of them after I know what the dimensions are that I'm using. So I have two circles, one inside of another. I'm going to split those two circles by creating a line Go up to our line feature. I'm gonna drag a straight line across splitting the two. And then I'm going to create a line over here just randomly so I have an axis in which I can coil my feature around as I get close to um, being finished. So now I'm going to use the trim feature located at the top menu and I'm going to trim off the parts that I don't like. And I end up with this U-shaped figure along with an axis over here in which I can rotate the U around and coil it around. So I'm going to finish my sketch. Again, I like to put them back into the same window so I can see both of them. I'm going to go up to the 3D modeling features and I'm going to use the feet coil feature. And when I select the coil feature, the U that I made is going to be highlighted. And then I need to select an axis in which to coil it around. So that's this line that I created earlier. So I created that and you can kind of see what motions it's going to create as I do so. So, but there's a couple things we need to look at before. And we need to take a look at our coil, the pitch and the revolutions. So the revolution is how many times we want our shape to coil around the axis. So I like, for me, I like four coils. And the pitch is the distance between each coil. Notice if we keep a one inch pitch, it's just not looking spaced out enough. So we can easily go back and edit by going to our coil feature and go to our coil size. 2.5 inches seems to be a nice pitch from one coil to the next. And as we complete that, now I can go home and now you can see how we have this nice marble slide um, that we can use as an obstacle in our skate park. Now what's really cool about Inventor is you have some other features. For example, if we were not going to print this off and we were just going to use it for a presentation, we would go up and we'd give it a little bit of uh, color and texture. So, you know, chrome is a pretty cool color. Um, or appearance so and we click what we want to make chrome and now we can see that we have made our slide chrome on the outside and that's a pretty cool look you can also do the inside to give it a little bit of um, 
style and we will make the inside aluminum and see how that turns out and that kind of gives it a real appearance of a slide so you can see now you can see it kind of looks aluminum on the inside and this chrome on the outside so it really brings to life and really gives some detail to a simple a simple skate park obstacle in which your marble could go down and uh, continue um, venturing onto its nest task. I hope you enjoyed the video on how to make a coil.